space telescopes around the world have suddenly registered a curious and worrying shift in brightness for the Interstellar Visitor 3i Atlas once, glowing steadily as it cruised through the outer reaches of our solar system, it has unexpectedly dimmed. That dimming, flagged by four separate observatories, has rippled through the scientific community. Could it signal a metamorphosis in the comet's physical state, or hint at something more exotic? Was it comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists, as one Harvard professor is raising the theory this may actually be a piece of alien technology. NASA's monitors are now on high alert, treating this event not as a routine flicker, but as a potential window into something unfamiliar. At first blush, 3i Atlas seemed to behave much like a comet from our own solar system. Discovered in July 2025 by the Atlas survey in Chile, it was already active. Dust and gas wafted from its nucleus, forming a faint coma and tail. Observations by Hubble refined estimates of its size, placing an upper bound of about 3.5 furans with caveats, and confirmed its hyperbolic trajectory, clearly not bound to the sun's gravity. Infrared spectroscopy from Webb showed that the coma is dominated by carbon dioxide, with water and other volatiles present in smaller fractions. All the while, ground telescopes and Mars orbiters added imagery, photometry and compositional hints. Then the anomaly appeared, the brightness fell more than expected, in a pattern inconsistent with its previous near-steady glow. The drop was not subtle. Multiple instruments across wavelengths reported that the light from 3i Atlas was fading, not just locally for one telescope, but across different spectral bands and lines. NASA quickly took notice. The dimming is not simply a matter of observational fluke or Earth's atmospheric interference. The consistency across instruments points to a genuine physical change in the comet itself. NASA's Space Telescope Network is now watching intently for what this might reveal. To understand the stakes, it helps to recall why 3i Atlas matters so much. As only the third confirmed interstellar object to penetrate our solar system, and probably the largest of the three yet observed, it carries the promise of offering unprecedented clues about the composition and history of distant star systems. JWST's measurements showing an extremely high CO2 to H2O ratio in the coma, about 8.1, hint that 3i Her Atlas is loaded with volatile ices unlike many comets native to our system. That alone makes it a treasure trove of data. If this darkening masks a sudden change in outgassing, fragmentation or surface alteration, we could gain rare insight into the aging, disintegration or structural transitions of an object born far beyond our neighborhood. Several possible mechanisms could explain the darkness. One possibility is that volatile outgassing has dropped sharply. If the comet's solar heating has changed, perhaps due to a shift in orientation, insulating dust suddenly coating the surface or exhaustion of the most volatile layer, the production of gas and dust that scatter sunlight could decline rapidly. Without the usual coma and dust halo to reflect light, the object would appear fainter. Another scenario is fragmentation. A part of the nucleus could crack or break away, disrupting the dust gas output, or causing a surface collapse that blocks light from the interior. A third possibility is a phase change or sublimation of more volatile ices. For example, CO or CO2 altered by solar proximity, leading temporarily to a relative dimming as the composition of the coma changes. The high CO2 dominance already documented might make such transitions more abrupt or dramatic than in typical comets. What makes this darkening both thrilling and alarming, is the speed and coherence of the change across wavelengths. Telescopes operating in visible ultraviolet and infrared bands all saw the fade, meaning it is not merely a surface dust event, but likely implicates changes in the gas or ice emissions as well. NASA's alert suggests they are watching for signs of sudden outburst flares, renewed brightening, or cascading fragmentation. In other words, they are treating 3i Atlas as a dynamic, possibly unstable body rather than a passive visitor. The implications extend well beyond this single comet. If the cause of the dimming turns out to be a process hard to observe in comets from our own system, say a volatile sequestering surface crust or abrupt structural collapse driven by thermal gradients, it may indicate that interstellar comets undergo evolutionary regimes we rarely see, 
It may point to the way such objects age over billions of years, drifting in interstellar space, accumulating radiation damage, cosmic ray alteration, and no replenishing sunlight. When such a body enters a new star's irradiation zone, it might undergo sudden transformations. Understanding that process could change how we think about comet lifetimes, inner structure resilience, and even how to interpret the spectra of distant comets. This dimming could also affect how we schedule future observations. If portions of the nucleus become cloaked, measurements of volatile ratios or isotopic signatures might become harder or misleading. For instance, if water sublimation ceases while CO2 persists, the apparent chemical fingerprint will shift. Telescopes like JWST, Hubble and Swift may need to recalibrate expectations on which spectral lines to emphasize. NASA will likely instruct them to pivot toward observing weaker coma emissions, narrow gas lines, or attempt direct nucleus imaging without relying on a bright coma. Any indication of renewed activity or flare-ups, even transient ones, could guide which telescopes switch to monitoring mode. On the broader scale of planetary science, this event could reframe how scientists see the interface between comets and their host systems. If interstellar comets arrive with volatile inventories quite different from solar comets, and if they can undergo sudden interior changes, even as they enter a new system, then comparative planetology must widen to include these extremes. Moreover, if 3i Atlas has begun to collapse or darken, future interstellar objects may do so quickly and unpredictably, meaning early detection and fast response observations are ever more critical. NASA's alert underscores that astronomers must be nimble in terms of origin. This darkening might carry a coded message about where 3i Atlas came from. If the process involves particular ices or structural weaknesses consistent with long exposure to cosmic rays or stellar processes, it may hint at the environment that shaped it. For instance, if the dimming is tied to loss or sealing of CO or CO2 reservoirs, it could indicate that the comet's parent system was radiation-rich or lacked protective gas envelopes. If fragmentation is involved, it might reflect internal stress built up over eons. All of that would offer physicists a rare look at exoplanetary system conditions in the comet's birthplace. Of course, caution is essential. A dimming event doesn't automatically imply doom or spectacular collapse. Astronomers have seen comets fade transiently, change rotation or orientation, or develop temporary dust coatings. Yet those changes tend to be gradual or localized. What's compelling here is the abrupt multi-instrument signal. Because so many telescopes are tuned in, the baseline expectations are well constrained, making deviations more meaningful. NASA's alert status likely involves not just passive observation, but proactive planning. Scientists will time series the object continuously, trying to catch any rebound, imaging in different filters, spectroscopy at multiple epochs, and rapid response triggers all may come into play. Space telescopes might be retasked, Earth-based arrays may shift focus, and even Mars orbiters might be called to assist. The hope is to catch key transitions as they unfold, rather than only reconstructing them later. The darkening also invites speculation about observational selection bias. Might there be interstellar comets that have already darkened so much by the time we spot them that we never recognize them at all? Perhaps we are missing many interstellar visitors because they dim too fast or arrive with faint signatures. The current event could encourage astronomers to broaden search strategies, tune instruments to fainter comets, or re-examine archival data for objects whose brightness dropped precipitously. Whatever the ultimate explanation, the fact that four independent telescopes saw the same fade signals one thing. 3i Atlas is now behaving in ways that demand close scrutiny. This is not a benign pass-through. It's a cosmic drama unfolding under our eyes, and scientists are racing to catch the next act. The darkening may be temporary, or it could presage structural change, compositional reconfiguration or chemical shifts. So either way, the event elevates 3i Atlas from visitor to active performer. We should brace for unexpected surprises. Even in the coming days or hours, the comet could flare back up, fragment or transition into a more quiescent mode. Each outcome carries lessons. A flare could permit fresh spectroscopic reads, fragmentation could expose buried ice, and quiescence could reflect a new equilibrium. NASA's telescopes on alert will measure that response in ultraviolet, 
visible infrared and perhaps submillimeter frequencies, correlating how its spectral lines evolve against brightness may allow scientists to reverse engineer its internal structure, porosity, volatile inventory, and more. In the grand sweep of cosmic time, Thryoti Atlas is a temporary visitor destined to pass back into interstellar space, but that very brevity is what makes such an event so precious.